Hello MTV and welcome to my crib. I can't take myself seriously doing that. Absolutely not. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video and I've been waiting to film this video for quite a long time now. It is finally my uni room tour. If you didn't know, I have now been in uni for two weeks and my room is pretty much finished. I mean, you'll see the bits where I haven't quite finished it yet, but I thought we should film a room tour because I've been here long enough. So I'm currently standing outside my front door. When I say front door, I mean the door to my room. This goes out to the corridor where the other rooms and the kitchen is. Uh, so I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna see my room. So this is what you see when you first walk in. On the right on the wall, I have two little coat hooks. So I've got two big winter coats on this side and then two smaller ones on this side. This is the door I'm just standing. I've got my suitcase up there on the shelf. And then this is the bathroom. So maybe we should go in here first. The lighting's a bit interesting. But yes, I do have an ensuite. So this is the bathroom. It's kind of a wet room. So the shower is on the floor. The shower is the same level as everything else. Does that make sense? I'm sure you know what a wet room is. If you don't, Google it. I have a little hook here that's got my towel on it. And then this is the shower. I'm now in the shower. Do you get what I mean by a wet room? And then my razor, this is from Estrid. Actually, very kindly gifted to me. I don't have to say anything about them, but I actually genuinely really love it. So if you need a new razor, go have a look at them. And then I have this little shower caddy that I bought myself that just hangs off this soap dish. Toilet, bath mat, extra toilet roll down there. And then these two very useful shelving units. So I've got obviously all my fake tan and stuff like that. Hair oil, coconut oil. And then up here, just like nail varnish remover, brush cleanser, pink stuff, which is a miracle worker for shoes. And then extra heads for my razor. And I think that's it. This is my sink, toothbrush and toothpaste. And then I have a little mirror up here. And then a little hand towel and a face cloth. Let's go into the main room i'm not really sure where to start i feel like i should give you an overview first Okay, so starting on this wall here, we have a radiator and then my dressing gown is on a hook and this is my laundry bag. It's actually a Teddy Blake dust bag, but it works perfectly. And then we have this massive shelving unit, I guess, but it's all open. So obviously I had to try and make it look pretty. At the top, I've just got a rucksack and a shoebox, then a disappointing lack of alcohol to be honest and some wine glasses a little photo of me and my friends at prom and then just stuff to make everything look pretty perfumes scarves shoes sunglasses and then this shelf is a bit um messy as i said it's not quite finished i still need to fix like this shelf has very randomly got a shopping bag tampons and wine on it and then we have my beautiful bed it's a double bed i'm very happy about that it's got some lovely pillows if you want to know where they're from go and watch my uni homeware haul and then we have this pin board i am gonna fill the entire pin board with photos i know it looks very random right now with all the blank bits in it but i've run out of the sticky things to put the photos on the pin board with if you want to see the photos pause and spot yourself then we have my desk it's really big it goes all the way around here because we don't have a bedside table i kind of treat this as my bedside table it's got <laughs> very minimal stuff on it then storage so i've got this little gray lamp from tesco's just two of these file divider things a box this is a very useful box all my rubbish goes in there like paracetamol batteries eye drops <laughs> i mean everything and anything so it doesn't get cluttered my laptop of course this is where i sit and do my lectures and then my makeup bit so i've got this mirror here which lights up then all my palettes in there brushes a little bit of jewelry this is my makeup drawer and then i would show you the bottom drawer but it's so messy it's got such a random variety of like hair straighteners hair dryers popcorn charging cables like really random stuff and it's just not very pretty um so I'm not going to show you, but that's where all the junk goes. Under my desk, got all my wires on the floor. Again, that's not very pretty, but they need to be there. Got my ring light. 
my bag, some folders in that WH Smith bag and a bin. Then I've got three shelves again above my desk. This one has got lots of essentials including face masks, hand gel, stay safe, and then like dry shampoo, hair oil, clay masks, deodorant, makeup remover, this one, my speaker, some little bottles of Prosecco. Those are some more photos that are going on my wall. <laughs> And then finally up there, I've got an air freshener diffuser thingy for my grandma. Thank you, Nana. Coffee pods so that no one can steal them. And then these two are cards from my mum and my sister that they gave me when I started uni, which I can't believe is two weeks ago now. Okay, and then moving to my wardrobe, which for a uni room is a pretty decent size. So this half is all hanging. I've just got loads of hoodies and jumpers and then a few dresses at the end. I need to buy some shoe storage things because I can't fit all my shoes in here, but that's where the shoes are. Underwear, trousers, trackies and skirts and shorts, tops and more underwear. And at the top there's this big shelf, so I've got three bins that I've put so I can organise the stuff a bit more. I mean this has got like gym wear in it because I don't go to the gym. That's got like pyjamas and that's got... I just had to get it down because I had no idea what was in it. But it's like extra bed linens and face cloths and stuff. Oh, it's a bit high for me to reach up there. And then my wardrobe has a almost full length mirror, which is... Well, it is, it is full length. You can see my entire body. So hi, um, which is really good. I didn't know that I was going to have that. So opposite my bed, I have actually bought a mirror and put it on the wall. If anyone working at my uni is watching this, Hi! I promise the mirror is stuck to the wall with command strips so it's not going to be damaging the wall. Fingers crossed. And then you might have noticed all of these little hanging things. They are curtain fairy lights. So I'm going to show you. I've got a little remote control here. I'm going to turn my light off and show you what they look like. So that is what they look like. I think it just looks so pretty. It makes the room look so nice, so much nicer. And like more homely i guess they look really pretty especially around the mirror because this is otherwise just a massive blank wall so i thought we might as well fill it with something and it's so cute again if you're from my uni watching this they are battery powered so you don't have to come and tell me off the worst thing about this room is the curtains that they gave us that does not match my aesthetic and they're disgusting and we can't change them but this is what my view is like but it just looks out onto there i'm on the ground floor so every time i obviously sit here at my desk to do my work and like do my makeup and even vlogging because this is obviously where the natural light comes from everyone can walk past and watch me do it so it's really embarrassing i think that is literally all i have to say about my room it's not the biggest obviously but for a uni room I think it's very nice and I love the way that it's come out. Once this photo wall is full, it will be a lot better. I might have done it by the time editing this video, so I'm gonna insert a photo here if I have. Gemma, I really hope you have. I think that's it. I have got LED lights that I wanted to put around the photo wall or potentially under my desk, but they are really complicated to set up and I need some help. So if anyone wants to offer their services, let me know below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.